Hey everyone! Today I am going to share several home decor DIYs using Dollar Tree storage baskets. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Crafting with JC. I share easy home decor DIYs that will cost you only a few dollars to make but will look like you spent a whole lot more. For the first DIY, I purchased this gold iron basket from Dollar Tree. I love all of their gold iron baskets. It's very vintage yet modern. I'll also be using Dollar Tree's cotton twine, left over from last week's video. If you haven't seen that yet, make sure to check it out and I'll have that link below. I'm going to measure out about 19 to 20 feet of twine. I cut it out and measure out two more of these. So three separate strands total, totaling just about 60 feet. Now I am trying to wrap it neatly into a ball, but I know as soon as I start wrapping, it's going to unravel. I add a dab of glue on the bottom corner of a rectangle, and I wrap it over and under like so, making sure the strands don't get tangled. I'm making what looks like an M pattern, wrapping it over twice with six strands of twine on each of those rectangles. If you want, you can wrap it around once or twice or even three times. It's up to you how you want to design it. So I just continue wrapping it around, making sure it's tight and that the twine strands aren't tangled. The corner edges are a bit wider, so I wrap the twine three times instead of two. And my favorite part when I am almost done, close to the end. So I just connect the twine to where I first started using a little dab of hot glue. Such a charming little basket. I love the combo of the gold and the cotton. You can display this anywhere on a shelf, on your counter. It's not only functional, but decorative as well. For the second DIY, I'm going to be using another gold basket. And this DIY is going to be quick and easy, but will give it a dramatic transformation. You'll also need four paint sticks, which I purchased at my local Home Depot. I measure the length of the base of the basket and mark it. And mine came out to just a tad under 6 and 7 8 of an inch. So with a miter box and saw, I cut it to the size I need. I lay them down with the ruler marks facing up and I'm going to glue them together using hot glue and three small popsicle sticks, which are a little too long, so I just trim off the curved ends. I apply hot glue on a popsicle stick, don't burn your fingers, and then I place it down like so, pushing down firmly. Then I glue down the other two. And now I have a nice flat base for my basket. I'm going to add some color using Waverly Antique Wax, but you can use whatever stain or paint you prefer, or even leave it unpainted. So I just buff it on all over, and I do want it to be nice and saturated. When that has dried, I just drop that in, and I'm done. Very quick and easy. The baskets are gorgeous on their own, but I do love the combination of the wood and the metal even more. DIY number three is going to be another quick one using this black plastic woven looking basket from Dollar Tree. I'll also be using this jute cord that I got from Walmart which cost under $4 at my local store. I'm going to be wrapping the handles of the basket so I measure out about 5 feet of cord for each handle.
I hold out about an inch or two of cord to start off, then I start wrapping. And I'm not going to be using hot glue to secure it, and you'll see how I keep it in place in the end. So here on one hand, I'm holding the end of the unglued cord, and on the other end, I'm wrapping it around the handle. And why I didn't use tape to free up the other hand, I don't know, but I keep going. I make sure it's nice and tight, and when I get to the end, I cut off the excess, leaving about an inch in the end. Then I get a popsicle stick, you can also use a skewer, and I use that to tuck the end inside just like so, pushing it in as far as I can, making sure it's not sticking out. Then I do the other side, and this time I did tape up the end and it went a lot faster the second time around. And when I get to the end, I do the same thing. I tuck it in, and this holds very well. It's very secure, very neat and clean, and gives me the option to remove the cord if I don't want it anymore. I love the look of the basket with a cord wrapped around the handles. A very easy thing to add, but it elevates the look and makes it appear a little more high-end. For the final DIY, I'm going to be using this wire mesh waste basket from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to give it a little makeover. I'm also going to be using sisal rope which I purchased at Walmart. I'm going to wrap the bottom of the basket with a rope using hot glue to secure it in place. So I apply the glue, hold it down for a bit until the glue has dried before I move on and that usually doesn't take too long. And I just keep wrapping it all around, making sure it's tight, securing it with the glue. I also make sure to push down on the rope as I'm gluing to cover up any gaps and spaces. How high you want to take it is really up to you, and I'm going to go a little over a third up. When I get to the height I like, I make sure to end and cut off the rope exactly on the same side where I started. Now this rope has a lot of fibers sticking out, so I just cut some of that off. Now you can stop here, but I am going to add some gold to the rope. A pretty basket you can put in any room, and you don't just have to use it as a waste basket, you can use it as a decorative storage as well. If you made it to the end and you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my new videos. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye.